Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A little bit different today. Um, I had a request to colour in Jade Summers Art Nouveau Grayscale book. So that is the book we've got today. And I know it's unusual for me to use markers on my channel, but that is what I use to colour my um, Jade Summer books in with. So that is what we will be using today. I have the Artex 90B set of alcohol markers that I'm going to use. See what I think of them. These are very new to me and uh, we'll give it a go, give it a play. I've got a bit of a plan, a bit of an idea for what I want to do to the page. So hopefully it goes according to, well, what we want it to look like. So... Um, I think we'll start with her dress. I've picked out two purples. I have 83 and 82, and that is lavender and light violet. Um, let's see now which one's the lighter one, 83. So, as always, doesn't matter what set you've got, use whatever you like, use whatever book you like if you want. Um, and I've just got quite a pale purple. In fact, I'll show you the swatches, it's easier. This lavender and this light violet. So you want something a little bit like that. And uh, we'll make a start. I always use the thinner tips for my colouring. I don't really use... Sorry, I bashed you, didn't I? Um, I don't really colour with the chisel tips at all. It's just my habit. And when using alcohol markers to get a smooth um, picture with no streaks, you have to work quickly and constantly on the page. I go side to side. Uh, so the alcohol does not have time to dry and then meets another line because that's where you'll get your smear mark. Uh, so pick your direction and your pieces well. So you've got natural break marks on the page where you can stop and have a rest. I go quite slowly. It stops the pen stuttering and you're getting uh, little thinner missing pieces. Make it, it makes it look patchy. And obviously... They will bleed through the thinner lines, so you have to be as careful and precise as you can. And I of course have a couple of pieces of thick paper in behind this, so it doesn't bleed straight through to my next page. Just working out what's what here and where. you're all keeping well and enjoying your weekend as apart from our hobbies here there's not a whole lot else we can do at the moment just yet I don't even tend to um, shade these with pencil at all. 
the Jade Summer Grey Scale is very good at adding everything in to the page that you need. I just try not to choose too dark a colour so that it shows up all that variant underneath for you and naturally it adds all that shading in. And uh, all the work really is done for you, nice and easy. You can just have fun with your markers. I always do the eyes in pencil though for some reason, I don't know why. Pencil with a bit of glossy accent over the top. And of course I will use gel pens in a few spots just to embellish my page. Is the headrest going to be that purple? Mm. I've got one other. See how we feel about it. You can see how alcohol marker is a bit of a puzzle in itself with the way that you colour. Might be a bit of a quiet one this guys, it's not like I can give you a tutorial on it, <laughs> it's not really uh, any point explaining most of what I'm doing as it's uh, pretty self evident. anyone ever wants to buddy colour out of any of the grade jade, um, grade, jade summer um, grey scale books that I own always uh, always on the lookout for buddies for that just send me a message Yeah, I think everything's going to be in those two sets of purple for shoes, everything. Um, I've got this number 142, which is pale cream, this one, for her skin. Paler than it looks on there, I hope. Yeah. This is why you've got to swatch them out. They're just, they're always so very different to the way they tell you they're going to be. Uh, it makes picking your colours a lot easier, I've learned with markers. And it helps using your colours up sometimes as well, because you're not just always picking the one colour that you know is the pale cream that you've used before helps you pick different tones each time uh, I do try not to get you know touch into the other colours because you don't want it to run into your lighter one trying to decide what What's skin and what's top? Hmm. We'll go with that for now. Shall we risk the face? 
same rules apply you do not want a line going right through your face so work it up and down nice and slow going around your eyes and everything back and forth so it's not got time to dry and leave those awful lines in your pictures You can of course use your chisel tips for bigger areas to speed things up. I just find that they leave, they look streakier for some reason. It might just be the sets that I've had, but they always seem to look a lot stripier when you use the bigger tip. So again, I'll just do the same for the legs to wear. Uh, finish her off I think we'll make her a brunette um, now the browns I've chosen for the page are um, 92 this chocolate and 102 this raw umber uh, so the raw umber being the lighter brown and then this one a, a bit of a richer brown uh, just because we have the mountains and I was thinking possibly for the pillars that I might make them a brown so I'm going to go with the darker brown for my mountain uh, I'm assuming this could be a bit of a bit of uh, snow I guess but um, I think I'm just going to color it and allow it to be a second tone I'm not too bothered about the bleeding because I do think I'm going to use a white gel pen to reline all the edges of those clouds and give them a white line when we're done. Uh, I tend to just line the edge when I am bothered like that, not too close to the edges and then you can colour side to side without worrying about it. Bleeding out. do the same for this one over here I was going to leave it and do it later and then realized I'll forget which color it is so better do it now And then this lighter brown, this one or two, which I'm wondering if it's going to be light enough, but we'll try it anyway. I think we'll pop it on the pillars. Oh yeah, see? They're always so much darker than you think they're going to be. We're committed now. Obviously I would normally be a bit neater than this and I would suggest you to be. This is just because I'm trying not to take a million lifetimes up for you on the camera. Yeah, so again, I'd probably let my grayscale do all the work there.
same for all the pillars in that paler brown. Um, I'm pretty sure I do want, I've got some silver and gold gel pen sat ready, just trying to decide. Um, I think this kind of lightning look, I'm going to do silver. So then whether I might do the the circles, the, the circle background in black actually. Um, so I feel like I might do all this. Oh, it's a black glitter. I did not know that. I didn't notice that when I did the review even. It explains why it seemed a bit patchy now. I don't think it actually was. I was seeing the glitter. I do really like the Ohu Hu gel pens. I wish they'd come out in some more colours. They're um, buttery and thick like. Sakura jelly rolls, they really are. So I'm going to do all those circles and the outlining circle in black gel pen. Uh, well, black glitter gel pen apparently. Ooh. Okay, see this is the problem when you have to be um, zoomed in but the page is a different size. <laughs> so yeah, um, actually on camera this time I will do all the circles in black glitter. That's uh, it's quite nice actually, isn't it? In my review, I thought it was a black when I first laid it down. I thought, ooh, it's a bit, it's a bit patchy, is that? Nope, it was glitter. So yeah, I think I'll do the circle itself, all the little circles, these dark pieces, I might do in silver. Uh, these panels, or gold, could add a little bit of gold, couldn't I? Uh, and then for my kind of lightning effect, I'm going to use a silver gel pen. It should keep me busy for a while as well, I reckon. Check I'm actually on camera this time. Yep, well done mate. I'm just doing bits of everything so that you can see some of it all and then it's easy to create from the chosen colours then and just so that you see what you wanted to which is how I do these pages and decide what I'm doing and my thought process behind it. I think I'll also take that darker brown for her hair. I'm assuming is what this is that we're seeing around the top of here is curls. Uh, 
you could always break out your fine liners for some of these little patches to be honest it would uh, make things a bit neater for you and a bit easier I am very lightly touching the paper, not putting any pressure on at all so it bleeds outwards a bit less. Uh, yep, I think that would be that. Probably do this headdress in the brighter purple um, that I have. And of course, this is her dress in the Pale at all. Might add a bit of gold into some of her, possibly. We'll see. Um, right, so I've picked a blue for my sky and I picked number 76 sky blue. It's just a mid toned blue. Again, the one beauty with this page is you've got kind of these natural breaks in the page, which makes this easier. And having big, giant spaces to fill. How are you guys doing? Are you asleep yet? <laughs> um, not sure how many people enjoy markers. Uh, I know loads of people like to colour with them, but how many enjoy seeing someone colour with them? Uh, don't get me wrong, when people blend, some people they, they blend with them and things, really interesting. But you know, I don't do that. <laughs> that is not what's happening here. I would do the same thing for all the sky. I think I'd probably, yeah, I'd be inclined to do the background of the circles in the blue as well. Um, like you're seeing through it. Uh, I think I'd probably go with that. For my clouds, I'm considering a very pale uh, purple. I think I'm going to go with this pale... Uh, Hmm, I'll go with a pale lavender, this 145. And uh, make sure you can see. I'm going to colour the grey with that. Obviously, it should look a bit paler when it dries. Hopefully. Uh, so a bit like you're getting a little bit of reflection of the purple of that outfit in these clouds over this side. Uh, 
And uh, as we come further out from her, I'd be inclined to change that to this 185 pale blue light. I'll try uh, that one. Uh, so a bit more for this end. Okay, so that's the couple of cloud variants I'm going to add on. I'll pop a little bit of the blue here mixed with the purple, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it there. I'll fill everything in that I've said so far and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, so we are back. We are very nearly finished. Um, I've pretty much done everything now. I'm just going to finish uh, white lining these clouds and then we're done. So I've so put in all the gold and the silver and the black. We've done a blue background and obviously finished off all the parts that we started on the page and I have just been um, giving these clouds a white outline. I'm using that uh, my white gel pen from the Uhuhu set and uh, really liking it actually finding these to be really nice quality pens. Not had any problem with it so far. So I'm just going to finish these last few off with you. And then we will have a completed piece. Even these pages take me a while. We are the <laughs> we are the next day already. And uh just very lightly I find with these if you don't press down too much it doesn't take the gel back off as you go I uh, don't mind doing it in pieces because it is clouds that little jagged fluffy look um, just adds to the overall look rather than taking it away to be honest Uh, not so much with marker, but with pencil, I will always tend to remove the excess from my pen nib as well. Just keeps things clean, stops it, keep taking it back off the page again as you go. And... Uh, I'm pleased with how she's turned out actually. Like I say, she's only a, a simple page, but sometimes these can be some of the most fun to do. Although I spent a decent minute on that gel pen, I must admit. The uh 
silver and gold took a while. Just a little while to uh, edge all of that in. And obviously you don't have to do this, but I just find it really finishes off that cloud look, makes them look a little bit more realistic, a bit more dramatic. Last piece. And uh, there we have it. This is the bit I was leaning on. We'll remove that. So she is my page from Art Nouveau. I know you're not seeing all of it quite, are you? But it will do. Um, so I just edged in silver so the lightning goes all the way around the edge of the page and um, yeah a real simple piece not a whole lot to it but fun to do I think should the colours turned out well in the end and um, quite pleased with the look of those clouds to be honest and like I say you can't see um, where I was quite messy with my colours from earlier, I've just gone over those. Um, I may add a little bit of gold leaf work into the edge of this tunic, we'll see how I feel about it later. Sometimes when I've stared at a page for a while, I find there's something I want to add on to it. But apart from that, I'm uh, pleased with the finished. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a more simple video today, but as requested, one page from Jade Summer Art Nouveau. Um, this is the set of Artex markers that I got. And I must admit, I find alcohol markers to be much of a muchness. And these aren't the cheapest set I've ever bought. But um, the box they come in is lovely. It acts as a workable stand and case. Um, and they are plenty nice enough to use. Like I said before, I only use the uh, shallow nib rather than the uh, chisel tip on my pens. Every one I've tried so far has worked. None of them have been dry. The colours do not match the uh, actual pen colours. So... Do try them on a bit of paper or swatch them out first if you're using them. Um, it's always the same with any kind of, well any marker I've used so far. I don't think I have any expensive ones really so um, maybe with your core picks they'll be more true to lightness but I think it's just something that's quite difficult to reproduce um, the ink colours in plastic to be honest and it doesn't bother me. Um, I always have a bit of paper or a swatch chart for them anyway. I will see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching.